though Jane's Addiction only released three studio albums and one live album in their brief career, the band's effect on rock music in the 1990s was something that can't be overlooked. During their second go-round earlier this decade, the band parted ways with bassist Eric Avery and replaced him briefly with Flea and then Chris Chaney, and it seems that even that couldn't keep the band from prematurely ending their career for good after their last tour got together in 2003. At the end of 2006, Jane's Addiction released their first ever greatest hits album titled Up From The Catacombs, The Best Of Jane's Addiction, and according to drummer Stephen Perkins, who controls the Jane's Addiction audio vault, that was just the beginning of a three-part package the band plans on releasing for the fans. It's like a, a three-tiered project. So the first one, Up From The Catacombs, was real simple, picking those tunes. It was just like the staples of Jane's. The next two projects, I think, is going to be a little more fun. Finding the odd stuff, even if it wasn't mixed right, or if it's not a great visual, but it's something cool, I think it's going to go in. When Dave Navarro was questioned in September 2007 about a possible Jane's Addiction reunion, he suggested that it would never occur because the band members, quote, did not get along on any level, end quote, and that it was, quote, pretty bad, unquote. But how does Perkins feel about the possibility of making music again with his longtime friend Perry Farrell, whom he also collaborated with in Porno for Pyros? Well, I mean, 25 years in the, in the making here, porno and Jane's and all the other things we've done together. I'm um, hoping that 08, we can make some music together. 07 was very dry between us, but I think it was a good time for a break. So you're maybe open to... I'm open to banking music with the friends, you know, so when, if, if everybody's in the good headspace, that's when it's time to make music. It seems like just when the band reached their greatest mainstream success, they prematurely broke up due to possible drug-related personality clashes within the band. We also spoke with Perkins about his thoughts on Jane's addiction premature breakup. And as soon as things started happening is when we broke up, like you said. Yeah, and it would have been, it would have been great if we had a manager said, you know what, take a year off. And, you know, instead the manager said, oh, I don't know what to tell you, so we broke up. Perkins, Navarro, and Chaney have teamed up with vocalist Steve Isaacs to form the Panic Channel, who released their debut album in 2006. Currently, Farrell is performing with his latest band, Satellite Party, who released their debut album, Ultra Payloaded, in 2007, yet perform many Jane's Addiction songs in their live set. 